it's Constance with Charming Custom Craft, and I have Mr. Charming videotaping. Woo -woo. Hello. <laughs> and he is helping me videotape today, and I am doing my twist on my pen cushion. And for the ladies that are in my pen cushion swap, you are going to learn how to make this, and you're going to have to make one as your twist. If you can see, it is strawberry shortcake, and I'm going to teach you how to make it. So I'm going to take it off. And I'm going to show you this real quick. All the way around, simple, pretty easy. It's my little muffin top. There's a bazillion ways to make these. So I just wanted to show you how to make this one. This is your twist. Now, if you can see what I have here, as I have bottle tops, you can use any size that you want. In this case, Mr. Charming has chosen black. And we are doing Hello Kitty. And we're doing Paisley. So you're going to need a Dremel or something that can drill out or something with a hard tip. So what we're going to do, we're going to get the Dremel going, and we're going to put two holes in it. And the Dremel's done. Don't need the Dremel anymore, but it does make a little bit of a mess. So you're going to take the elastic band, take them out of an old pair of pants if you have to. And get it done in that hole. Sometimes it doesn't like you. Sometimes it does. And you're going to poke it through. Now what you're going to make sure is you want to make sure it's going the same way. So it doesn't twist on your finger and hurt your finger when you wear it. And it's got a little bit of a tip that's not going to let you. So sometimes you have to re-tip it. It'd be easier if you have the thinner, but I'm going to tell you the little bit wider, about a fourth of an inch is best. So it's just the right length, like a ring. And you're going to pull it through. You can see there. Push it through a little bit more. Now, I'm going to pull it through a little bit more on this side, so I have a little bit more to tie. Now, to guesstimate, as I'm going to go ahead and put it on my finger and then pull it tight okay that is the back you want to use the back and then you're just going to tie it Mr. Charming's being quite the patient man tonight I don't get him to do much anymore he's home on break And you're going to snip it, save the last, don't get rid of anything do we ladies, and double check, it should fit comfortably. So now that you got the bottom part of your ring, now you're going to figure out where you want this and I have a bunch of polyester cotton. Now I'm going to use the center of Hello Kitty here, this is a quilt square left over that my mom had that she made a quilt for my daughter. And I am just going to sit and configure. Now, it's probably better to sew this, and I didn't, which made it a little bit more difficult if you do a circle. But I did it fairly fast. And I'm just trying to figure out how I want Hello Kitty. And you can see her. I'm trying to straighten her out a little bit, but I have to twist it the other way. And give her a little bit. A poof it's not perfect get to play with it now, again this is on air video so you can sit and do a little bit better when you have a little more time so I'm gonna sit it down I know that it's okay take my hot glue gun and I'm gonna start around the edges you gotta work fast this should you guys super hot uh, glue gun like mine. This is super hot. Right now I don't have it on super hot and I'm afraid of it because it burns me. And I'm going to fill the inside a little bit. Should be enough. That's where you got to work a little quicker. If you want to use glue you can after you sew it. Set it here and then I'm going to rebunch 
my Hello Kitty. I want to work fast. If you have extra, you might want to cut. I said when we bought the hot glue, it's a little more forgiving than some of the other glues. I'm just going to do a guesstimate again. Because I can pull it and fluff it a little bit. Now what I did is I just stuck the ring down on top of it. Made it fast. It's not always going to be perfect. Now is the time to pull it if you're going to pull it because it's hot. And then I'm going to stick my finger down in the center for it to catch. So there is your fluffy piece, my mushroom top. And then all I'm going to do, now on this one, I did ribbon and I did an extra piece. All I'm going to do is just stick a little extra glue around the edge. For a little extra detail, you can leave it if you like. I like the extra detail. Continue to go around. bit more. You want to go over that edge. And then just trim it off. And voila! And then you can take your stick pins and again you can fluff it up. I fluffed it up. I'm just doing this real quick for you guys to see. And there is your finger stick pen. Thanks guys!